To be able to carve is one of the greatest sensations in skiing. It's what people strive towards and it's what enables you to get the most fun out of the sport. A lot of people will make a progression in skiing and go through parallel skiing, basic parallel, and it's the difference between that moment when you're making your parallel turn and it skids to making a parallel turn that purely carves and cuts around a corner. You might want to think of it as railing. Carving involves a few factors. One of them is being very aware of your ski equipment, the turn shape and geometry that your skis have, making sure your symmetry is set up correctly in your boots and your, and your footbeds. Also having the ability to look at your technique from a point of view of feeling, railing, creating angles and having very good fore and aft movement in the body. Things that will help you make carved turns is learning to rail and get a feel for what the ski wants to do. Standing on the ski and railing and feeling the edge of the ski grip and bite for you, something that you can stand against. Making angles in the body also helps you tilt your skis over onto greater angles. And fore and aft movement helps you put pressure on the tip of the ski so it bends and creates an even greater arc shape. What's useful if you're going to be working on these basics of carving and getting a sensation and a feel for the, the railing, jump on a pair of skis appropriate for it. It's not worth doing it on your free ride skis. Try and get on a pair of race skis or skis like Deacons or, or Race Tigers. You can see here as well, looking at the tracks on the way back, a ski is going to help encourage that, that feeling, that sensation a lot easier, a lot quicker.